welcome to episode number 8 of the Eliza Dishes Show. I'm your host Eliza Jankowski, a business administration student, a yoga teacher, marathon runner and currently finishing my plant-based nutritionist degree. I'm here to help you to achieve a healthier, happier and more sustainable life. I'm also the creator of the Eliza Licious Show Instagram account, where I post delicious and nutritious plant-based recipes. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. That's at Eliza Licious Show over on Instagram. I hope you all had a wonderful week of good vibes and I'm so grateful that you're tuning in with me today. So let's get started. In today's episode, I'll be talking about how to get people to like you. And I started to think about this topic when I read Dale Carnegie's book about how to win friends and influence people. And it was super interesting. And since that book, I actually started to notice some things that I tried to integrate into my life. And I thought it's time to show them to you. So the first thing is actually to just remember the name of the other person because the name of the person is the favorite thing that they want to hear. And we sometimes forget about it. When we hear our name, it could be super normal to hear it all the time. But when someone really special says our name, we feel really comfortable and we really like it. And talking about comfortable, Being a comfortable person is also a key ingredient to get people to like you because you will see that they will open up to you if you know that you do what you do and that you are proud of yourself. And by saying being comfortable, I'm also talking about finding an indirect way to talk about mistakes that someone else did and of course we notice them and of course we want to say something but sometimes we need to be a bit kinder so what we can do is to start with our own mistakes before we criticize someone and we can simply give an advice but we don't give orders because when you give an order the other person feels attacked and we try to be a comfortable person. So we rather give advice and no order. Also try to be a bit funny and when I say funny I don't mean being weird. Well you can be weird but just in a natural way, in the way that you like to be. And developing a sense of humor is actually a skill and we sometimes forget about it. Then. Another thing would be the quality of easygoingness. And by saying easygoingness, I mean, we shouldn't forget that the other person has an opinion too. And this opinion counts. It's not just about us. It's also about others. I know that we love to talk about ourselves, but sometimes we need to stay calm and see what the other person has to say. And if you understood something wrong, you can be honest and let them know. That's okay. And it's better to be honest and tell them what happened before you do something that you might regret later on. And if you tell stories and end up with humor or something you've learned, you will actually see that this is the key of communication because if you talk to someone the other person wants to know what you could give them or what is so special about you the fourth thing i want to talk about with you is to avoid selfishness and by saying that i mean don't give the impression to know it all because The other person might know something that you don't know. And even if you know it, the other person wants to know something and they love to talk and they love to be right. So give them some room and let them talk. But also try to be natural and be a good listener. And being a good listener means also to be an active listener. An active listener is someone who actually follows the conversation and who asks questions. So don't forget 
to be a good listener because other people will appreciate that and you can also try to let the other person talk most of the time because then you actually know okay you gave the other person some room to open up and to let things go if they have something in mind that they really want to talk about and there's no one else they can talk to give them some space and let them talk even if you don't want to know it but for them it could be the biggest thing to talk about it right now with you we also really like to judge about things so this is something really natural but we need to stop doing that or at least try to work against that i mean we will never really stop doing that but it's just a process that we should keep in mind because it can increase the amount of negative thoughts and we always want to try to be a positive person and for that we need to stop to focus on the negative aspects and not just that we also need to stop complaining i know that really really well because i'm always searching for excuses when it comes to running with my running group because everyone else loves to run extremely fast and i don't really enjoy running really fast i like to run long distances but i don't really enjoy running small distances on a higher pace on a faster pace so keep that in mind and I'm, when I say I'm complaining, I don't really know where I even get these thoughts from. But I think of every possible reason to say, this is the reason why I'm so slow today. Or this is the reason why I'm so slow now. Or this is the reason for whatever. But really, try to stop complaining. I know it's hard. It's hard for me too. But you will see. It will help you. And it takes one bad impression to ruin it all so you could be the fastest runner but this one day you had a bad day and you start complaining about everything and then you ruin it i'm not saying that you ruined everything but it's it's better to keep calm and simply be yourself i mean okay complaining is a part of being ourselves but if you talk to someone else, the other person wants to hear something from you that it's not something negative. Of course, if you have a hard time, if someone died or something, of course, they will help you and be there for you. But if you meet someone for the first time, they don't want to hear how bad your work is, that you don't like this and that you don't like that. They want to hear about you. What is special about you? And when they want to know something about you, you should try to find the quality of actually being interested. And when I say being interested, it comes back to being an active listener. Because people want to be with you because of you. Because you are you. And let them talk about their dreams. We all have our dreams and we all want to achieve them. And if you give someone room to talk about their dreams, they will appreciate it and they will love you for it because they are working towards their dream and they are working towards the thing that they want to achieve. And if they tell you what they actually want to do, show interest in the things that they want to do, the things that they like, and let the other person know that you have a good opinion of them. And when you give someone room to talk about themselves, you actually give them room for the thing that they love to do because they, or we all love to talk about ourselves. We love ourselves, we want to show everyone that we're the best person on this planet and we can achieve everything, we can do everything. And yes, if you give someone else the room to tell you that, you actually give them the room to tell you what they love to do and this is the best thing that they that that could happen to them and we also we don't need to but it's good for you if you want people to like you 
to treat people as if they were celebrities. And that might sound super weird for you, but you will see that that will work. And it's not always about taking something from the other person. But if you give the person something, if you give them the attention that they feel like a celebrity, they will love you for it. And we are always searching for something that we can learn from the other person. So that's what I meant with be an active, an active listener. Find what you can learn from them and find how you can help them. When you find their deepest desire, when you find their dreams, when you find out what they actually want to achieve, you can try to help them with your knowledge and with your know-how on the things that you have learned because you had or you have a life and you have experience and you might have something that they can use and that they can use for for their dreams for example and when you find common ground and when i say common ground imagine you have your vision and the vision of someone else you put them together and you hope that there is any kind of similar dreams or similar ideas while you're figuring out what you actually have in common you can have a look because you will see when you find this specific thing the foundation of your relationship gets even stronger the more you have in common and when you find out what you have in common you can ask for an advice for something that you both have in common but the other person might know a bit more of or even if you know something you can ask for the person of someone else because they might see it differently and that could help you to see this specific thing from a different perspective and also don't forget that people love to give advice that's what i meant we all think that we all know everything some people might do some people don't and some advice are good for you and some advice are not so good for you but you can choose but that's what i meant people love to give advice don't forget that and don't force the conversation if you notice that you don't really find anything to talk about then simply stop talking and go that's what i do i just go when i notice i don't find something to talk and i know it's hard and i know sometimes you think that you have to talk to this person because my friend said that or this person said that but if you can't really talk with the other person then just don't do it it's all right i mean you don't have to force or you don't have to do that all the time i mean and don't try too hard to impress someone that's something that i'm always trying to keep in mind i still want to be me and i still want to be natural and um when when i'm trying to impress someone else i need to keep in mind that the other person wants to impress me too and when i'm just talking about myself i'm not giving the other person room to talk about themselves all right another thing that i love to do I already mentioned it in my morning routine episode is studying for myself and when I say studying for myself I love to read in the morning so I read a book and it's not just that I read one specific book or one specific um, topic but I like to change things up and learn different things so the more topics you can talk about or the more topics you know or the more knowledge you have the chances are better to talk with others because you will actually see that when a person starts to talk about something and you remember that you read something about in this book and you can ask yourself what was it that i actually read and if you can remember it you can ask the person about the specific thing because this might be something what i mentioned earlier this might be common ground you know something this person knows something and you can ask for an advice or you can give an advice and it's easy to be a nice person if you understand others for example i did an insights test a couple of years ago 
and the boss of the company we talked about everything we talked about my um my test and he knew that i was vegan and it was super funny because he started talking about veganism and i thought wow that's so cool that he knows something about it and i started talking and i was talking and talking and gave so many advices that I wasn't really thinking about. But afterwards, after reflecting on this situation, I noticed, wow, this person is super, super intelligent because he used his small amount of knowledge to get me to talk about something. And I think this was one of the key situations in my life that I said to myself, okay, even if I don't like cars, I'm gonna read something about it and if I meet someone who is in this position and he wants to talk about cars I have something that I can talk about it and I have something to talk about with him or her another thing would be to express sympathy and you should never miss an opportunity to say a word of congratulations upon someone's achievement and by saying that It could be something like running a trail run or running the first five kilometer run. For some people, it's the hardest thing to do to achieve that. And we sometimes forget that it's hard to find someone who gives compliments. And if you give compliments, make sure to give honest compliments. Because of course you could run around and say, oh, your pants are nice, your shoes are nice, your your hair is nice, but to be honest has much more value and rather give a small amount of honest compliments instead of a huge amount of compliments that no one really want to hear. I mean, it's not that they don't really want to hear it, but you can reach much more people when you're honest and you can you can achieve a different feeling in themselves and a thing that you should always keep in mind is to try to see the things from the other person's perspective because we sometimes think in this one direction but the person might think in a completely different way and we forget about it that there might be a different opinion to this specific thing Think about the others and think about what they might think of your proposal, of your whatever you're talking about. And you also should keep in mind that helping others to overcome fears and that they can easily get better in it is something that they would love to hear. They would love to get some help. They would love to know that they can easily get better in the specific thing that they did wrong. And I know we sometimes think, oh, well, I'm too shy to do that. I like to ignore that because someone else could do that. But you will see that everything comes back to you. So when you stand up and you help the person to pick up the bike because the mom has the baby in their hand and she can't lift the bike up or something, you can stand up and help the woman and there could something could happen simply because you helped her it could be a smile it could be a thank you it could be a conversation it could be something else but be the one who overcomes this shyness and this ignorance and open up when you start talking about something because when you open up the other person might follow to open up and then it's easier to find the common ground to build a strong relationship. But keep in mind that you don't open up too much. And something that I said earlier is not just to, to take everything. Of course, you want to learn something from the other person, but the other person wants to learn something from you too. So keep in mind that you're not the taker all the time. Be the giver as well and leave them better than you found them. The last thing I want to say is to smile. 
a smile kind of has a ripple effect. Imagine to, you go on the street and you smile at someone and the person smiles back and then you might see that the person keep, keeps walking and another person smiles because of this person and this is the best thing that can happen. I mean, smiling is so nice and if you go outside and you don't smile, what happens? Nothing. Yes, nothing happens. So keep that in mind that smiling is super important. And I mean, there are people out there who don't smile during the whole day. And smiling is so wonderful. But I'm not saying that you should walk around and smile like a waiter. Find a reason to smile. And you will find a reason when you look for a reason. It could be easier than you might think. I'm not telling you this is the perfect reason to smile, but you can choose what is important for you and you can choose when to smile. Um, but a smile gives a good impression and when you meet someone new and you find something to smile about, it's easier to actually build this relationship because smiling binds us together. All right, so let's wrap this up by summarizing some of the key elements of today's episode. First of all, try to take less and give more. We love to take things because we always want to learn something, but we shouldn't forget that giving is key. If you give something, something comes back to you at some point. So don't stress too much about taking and giving because when you give something, it will come back at some point. The second thing would be to find common ground. When you find common ground, it's the best foundation to build a strong relationship between you and the other person. But don't force it too much. Simply because there will be something and when you talk and you keep talking, you will find what it actually is and the last thing my favorite part of this episode is to smile thank you so much for tuning in with me today make sure to let me know how this episode resonated with you by tagging me under at eliza licious show over on instagram that's where you can also send me a dm if you have any questions or suggestions if you want to know more, make sure to head over to elizalicious.de where you can find the show notes for each episode. And please make sure to pop over to iTunes and leave me a rating and review. And hey, if you like what you hear, check out my Patreon page where you can support my work. I appreciate that so, so much. Big thank you to Tanya Nocele for graphics and music by Temple Hayes. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you next week.